Reading 012, Unit 2, Lesson 1, A Famous Endangered Animal. By the end of Unit 2, Lesson 1, you will be able to identify the main idea in the reading text and apply reading strategies such as previewing. Vocabulary. Population. This is a number of people or animals in an area. Wildlife preservation. This is the protection of wild animals in natural surroundings. Categorize. This could be to put in a group. Failed to breed. Did not get pregnant and reproduce. Captive born. This is born in cap captivity such as in a zoo. Previewing. Preview the newspaper article below by reading the first two paragraphs, then answer the following questions. What kind of animal is the article about? Where is the animal from? What does the center try to do? And what do you think this text is about? Let's take a look at the text China's Giant Pandas. China's Giant Panda is one of the world's most endangered species. An endangered species is a type of plant or animal with such a low population that it may die out or become extinct. The giant panda is also perhaps the best loved of all animals. People around the world think the panda is very cute, and toy pandas are always popular with children. The panda is also an international symbol of wildlife preservation. Only about 1,000 pandas still exist in the wild. The panda population is very low because of the loss of the animal's natural habitat, a place where a plant or animal normally lives. Humans now use much of the land that the pandas once lived on. The panda's diet consists mostly of bamboo shoots, but the bamboo forests are also disappearing. The giant panda has always been a part of the culture of Chinese people. People in the West, however, first saw the giant panda in 1869. European biologists were by its appearance. European biologists were surprised by its appearance. They debated whether to categorize the animal as a raccoon or bear. In 1936, an American named Ruth Harkness made the long and difficult journey to China and Tibet to capture one. She returned to America with a baby panda named Su Lin. Zoos around the world wanted their own animal. Unfortunately, Su Lin and other pandas brought to zoos did not thrive and failed to breed. Serious research on pandas did not begin until the 1980s. The Wulong Giant Panda Reserve Center is in the Sichuan province of China. Scientists there researched ways to save the panda. They are trying to breed giant pandas to increase the population. They also take care of sick, injured, and lost pandas. The center tries to make sure that all is well when the animals are released back into the wild. Recently, the first captive-born giant panda was released into the wild. The four-year-old panda named Zhang Zhang is doing very well so far. He was trained at the Wulong Center to survive on his own. People around the world hope that scientists can release even more pandas back into the wild. Now answer the following questions, as I read to you earlier. What kind of animal is the article about? It's about giant pandas. And where is this animal from? China. And what does the center mention in the text try to do? It is trying to breed pandas to increase the population. And what do you think this text is about? Giant pandas.